Hey guys, so I am getting ready for date night, so I thought I would film it. I'm basically going to be using some new products and some not new products, some favorites, some things I'm still deciding on, and I'm also going to be doing a matte kind of smoky eye with a really sparkly inner corner. So if you'd like to see that, then please keep watching. First, I'm going to be taking the NIAD Photography Fluid Opacity 12. And then I am going to be using the Pores No More Pore Refining Primer by Dr. Brandt. And I'm going to be putting that in my G-Zone. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Born This Way foundation in vanilla. And I'm going to mix in some of the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation in the shade Porcelain. And to blend that in, I'm going to be using the NYX Complete Control Sponge. So for today's eye look, I'm going to be using the Shan Exo The Remix palette. It looks like this. And in it, it has nine eyeshadows from the original. And then it also has nine shadows that are new. So for the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in. To prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And to blend that in, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics 129 brush. And then to set that, I'm going to be using Clarity from the original side. And then I'm going to go into Buttercup with the same M511 brush that I used to set the lid. And I'm going to run that in the crease. And then um, I am going to go into Need You, which is this color here, on the same brush, and I'm going to fluff that into the crease. Now I'm going to take the Morphe M433, and I'm going to go into a mixture of Dark Horse and Vampette, and I'm going to fluff that into my crease and on the lid. Then I'm going to go back in with Need You and a clean M532, blend that out. And then I'm going to go back in and darken this up until I'm happy with it. going to stop there and move on to concealer. For concealer today I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand. And then to bake I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then to give myself a little bit more color, I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25. I also use this to wipe away the baking. To contour, I'm going to use Hula by Benefit and my NARS Eda brush. And then to bronze, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Bronzer in Dulce. And then to brighten up my under eyes, I'm going to use the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm going to be mixing the shades Soft Light and Cream. And then I'm going to put this under my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, under my chin, in the middle of my nose, anywhere I'm trying to highlight. Mm -hmm. 
And then to contour my nose, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Bronzer. And this is the Sigma E70. And then I'm gonna blend with the BH Cosmetics Duo Fiber Brush. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Now I'm gonna zoom you in for under eye and brows. So first I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna brush them out. And I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade four. And I have to fill in my scar pretty heavily there. Get that tail. Brush through that product. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3. And then I'm just going to spoolie through that. Sorry if you guys hear my cat in the background. Now for the under eye, I am going to take my Morphe M432. I'm going to go into the Dark Horse and Vampette. Mix those together. And I'm gonna put those as closely as possible on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna go about halfway. And then just to darken that lid and just make it more seamless, I'm gonna take the Sigma E55 shading brush. I think I'm gonna use a clean brush. I'm just gonna lightly blend that out. Okay, back to the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the Need You shade on a pencil brush, the Morphe R41, and I'm going to buff out that dark shade. And then with the Morphe E17, which is just a little bit bigger of a pencil brush, I'm gonna take that Buttercup. Um, just make sure everything's all blended out. For the waterline, I'm using the Pat McGrath Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Extreme Black. I'm going with the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara on my top lashes. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Ilore Vegas Nay Luxe Collection in Platinum Princess. For the bottom lashes, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. <music> to highlight my inner corner and brow bone, I am going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Illuminating Powder in French Vanilla. Okay, to highlight my face, I'm going to use the same thing I used on my inner corner, the Kylie Jenner Pressed Illuminating Powder in French Vanilla. And I'm first going to take a couple drops of my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir on my NYX sponge, and I'm going to just lightly dot that in where I'm putting the highlighter. I saw Man Amanda Ensing do this one time, and it looks amazing. Then I'm going to take my Morphe M510, spray my face with some of the MAC Studio Fix Plus, and then I'm going to take my NYX sponge, and I'm gonna melt all that highlighter in while my face is wet. Okay guys, so I just did my hair really quick and got dressed. I'm wearing this cute little jean dress um, that I, my mom got me, I think from like Kohl's or JCPenney's. We're just going to walk over to Postino's. We live really close, so I'm just wearing something kind of comfy. And then I won't be too cold or too hot, and it, it is Phoenix, so um, it's probably about 75, 80 degrees out there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put some lipstick on, and we'll show off the final look.
So to line my lips, I am using the Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liner in the color Tawny Rose. I've never tried this before, so this should be fun. And then for uh, my lipstick, I'm using the Jouer Lip Cream in the shade Melon. Oh wow, very creamy. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload. I'm gonna go grab some wine and some bruschetta at Postino's. Comment below your favorite date night spot. Ian and I love to walk to Postino's since we're so close. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are and toddy byes. Have a good eye, Miguel.